This is Mike Pastor here, and uh, today um, my stepbrother Cody is wearing the um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I can't say what part it is. I'm thinking it's part one or something. Uh, although it does look Freddy, more Freddy vs. Jason. But he's going to give his thoughts on it, um, like his very own review, but anyway... Yeah, so he's gonna do some hand gestures and say how like the movement is in it for him anyway. Mine is the for me it's really hard. Okay, the pinky is easy. You can move it back and forth easy. The ring finger gets kind of stuck, and then this one, like the middle finger. It's like the fastest one, and then this one is kind of like the ring finger, but it goes up a little bit easier. Yeah. And then this is where I scratched his thing on accident. This is where I cut it. <laughs> and I just, you know, colored Sharpie on this part and this part and this part. And I pooped on this, these two black dots right here. Alright. And I took some glitter, these brown parts. I painted it with that. Okay. Then I glued some of my swords on these fingers. Right. And, you know, took part of my sheet, and I made it into a glove. Oh, I actually, I actually cut a hole in this. Like, right there. Because, like, he farted, and... Yeah, like, the toxics. <laughs> he just burnt a hoard in it. And then this... This was like my Iron Man hand, but you know. Back plate. That's back plate. A, it's called a back plate right there. Yep, yep. And then some more Sharpies right there. And this thing. I don't even know why I put that thing on there. That's supposed to be to tighten the mask, but. But you know, you don't have the metal one. No. But right, I'm getting a metal one. It's bolted by this bolt right here. Rivet. You have it, shut the hell up. And then, yeah. These two bolts, rev shut up. These hold this back plate. Back plate. Onto this leather part. And it's kind of ripping. Oh, well, might have to super glue it back on again. Yeah. <coughs> and then, you know, right here, I made a smiley face one day, and then he got mad, so he cut it out. <laughs> it's like that one episode from The Simpsons when the one guy cut his face off and replaced it with another guy's face. And yeah. Alright, so, um, uh, will you give your thoughts on how, like, the whole thing, like, not, how it feels, like, when, if you were to wear this, like, for, like, about an hour or so, maybe? It would be pretty hard, because, you know, I'm a right-handed person. Yeah. And, like, my phone couldn't do a lot with it. <laughs> and I couldn't play video games, I guess. Um. You know, cutting my hands. In a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst thing you ever saw, and 10 being the most detailed, movie-accurate thing you've ever saw, what would be your rating? I'd give it, like, a 4, because, you know, it's plastic. Like, the metal one, the metal one, just awesome. Yeah, I'm getting, again, if you saw my, not my redo, but my first ever, uh, review on this glove here, Ruby's, um, Freddy Krueger glove, um, hold on, um, so, so he gave it a four, I would give it, maybe, I, I would give it a four. Four, uh, yeah. Because yeah. even though it's not so detailed, it's just cool to have, you know? Yeah, it's better than a one, I'll give you that. Yeah, it's way better than a one. Because it's not just, like, plastic, not painted, in like... Yeah, at least I gave you this detail. I'm, I I might marks. use this for, like, a Freddy vs. Jason costume, just because that looks like it could have been cut by Jason's machete. And all this back here, I, I don't know. 
And also the blades. Like, if you look at the blades in Freddy vs. Jason, you can notice that they're a lot fatter. Which, you can't blame him. He was going up against Jason, who had this giant machete. And he had butter knives. <laughs> anyway. I am getting the part three NECA. What are you doing? Mm. I'm getting the part three NECA all metal glove. Um, so, if you happen to come by this glove at Spirit Halloween or any Halloween store, this would be good for a costume. Not like taking pictures with, but maybe a costume. If, uh,. If you want a metal glove that's cheaper than 50 bucks, maybe, go for the Ruby's Giant uh, Freddy Krueger glove, because that's all metal. Uh, it's not copper and all that, but it is metal. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention in all my reviews are that these uh, blades are retractable, so even if you bend them... They'll go right back into place. As shown. Uh, um, I think, and what I think uh, Cody also thinks, is that this could be a really decent glove if it had, like, more work mm -hmm. put into it. Um, anything else you want to say before we end the episode? Nope. No? Alright, well thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in your nightmares.